Scientists discover a new species lurking in the depths of the southern ocean. Most of these animals have not been seen anywhere else on Earth. We've sent humans to the moon. We've landed rovers on Mars. We photographed black holes billions of light years away. But there's one frontier that remains almost completely unexplored. And it's right here on Earth, the ocean covering 71% of our planet's surface, containing 99% of Earth's living space. And yet, we've explored less than 5% of it. That's right. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do about our own ocean floor. But why? Why is it easier to send a spacecraft to Jupiter than to explore the deepest parts of our own planet? And what secrets are hiding in the abyss that could change everything we think we know about life itself? Today, we're diving into the ultimate mystery, why the ocean remains Earth's final frontier, and why the discoveries waiting in its depths might be more mind-blowing than anything we've found in space. This is why the ocean is still a bigger mystery than space. Let's take the plunge. Let's start with some mind-blowing statistics that will make you question everything you thought you knew about exploration. We've mapped 100% of the moon's surface, We've mapped 100% of Mars, but we've only mapped 20% of the ocean floor. That means 80% of our planet's surface remains a complete mystery. The average depth of the ocean is 12,100 feet. The deepest point, the Challenger. Deep in the Mariana Trench, plunges down 36,200 feet. That's deeper than Mount Everest is tall. And the pressure down there? It's over 1,000 times greater than at sea level. Only three people have ever been to the bottom of the Challenger Deep. More people have been to space than to the deepest part of our own planet. Think about that for a moment. But the real kicker? NASA's annual budget is about 25 billion. NOAA's ocean exploration budget? Less than 50 million. We're spending 500 times more money looking up than looking down. The ocean isn't just unexplored, it's systematically underexplored. And that's about to change everything. If you want to see aliens, you don't need to look to the stars. You just need to look down. The deep ocean is home to creatures so bizarre, so alien, that they seem like they belong on another planet. Transparent fish with see-through heads. Squid with eyes the size of dinner plates. Jellyfish that glow like living galaxies. In the deep ocean, 75% of all animals produce their own light through bioluminescence. They've evolved living flashlights, laser shows, and communication systems that make our technology look primitive. But here's what's truly mind-blowing. Every time we send a submersible to the deep ocean, we discover new species. Not just one or two, dozens. Scientists estimate there could be over a million undiscovered species living in the deep sea. And then there are the hydrothermal vents, underwater volcanoes that spew superheated water and toxic chemicals. By all rights, nothing should be able to live there. Instead, we found entire ecosystems thriving in conditions that would kill almost anything else on Earth. These aren't just new species. They're new forms of life that are rewriting the rules of biology. So why is ocean exploration so much harder than space exploration? The ocean is corrosive, dark, and constantly moving. Salt water destroys electronics. The darkness is absolute. No light from the sun penetrates below 1,000 meters. And ocean currents can push even the most advanced submersibles off course. Communication is another massive challenge. Radio waves don't travel through water, so once a submersible goes deep, it's essentially cut off from the surface. But the ocean isn't just a mysterious alien world. It's the engine that drives our entire planet. The ocean absorbs 93% of all excess heat from climate change. It produces over 50% of the oxygen we breathe. It drives weather patterns, regulates temperature, and controls the water cycle that makes life on Earth possible. But here's the scary part. We're changing the ocean faster than we can understand it. Ocean acidification, caused by absorbing excess carbon dioxide, 
is happening at a rate not seen in 300 million years. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, are bleaching and dying at unprecedented rates. These ecosystems support 25% of all marine life, and they're disappearing before we even fully understand how they work. The ocean's food webs are collapsing. Whale populations that took centuries to recover from whaling are facing new threats. Fish stocks are crashing. And we're only just beginning to understand the cascading effects. We're conducting a massive experiment on the ocean without understanding the system we're experimenting on. But every time we do explore the ocean, we make discoveries that revolutionize our understanding of life itself. In 1977, scientists discovered hydrothermal vents and realized that life doesn't need sunlight to exist. Entire ecosystems were thriving on chemical energy from the Earth's core. This discovery revolutionized astrobiology and our search for life on other planets. The ocean is full of intelligence we're only beginning to comprehend. We found underwater rivers, lakes beneath the sea, and geological formations that shouldn't exist. We've discovered shipwrecks that rewrite history and underwater caves that preserve ancient climates. Every expedition to the deep ocean returns with discoveries that force us to rewrite textbooks. Here's the ultimate irony. To explore space, we need to understand the ocean. Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus both have vast oceans beneath their icy surfaces. If we want to find life in our solar system, we need to understand how life works in Earth's oceans first. NASA uses the deep ocean as a testing ground for space missions. The isolation, pressure, and extreme conditions make it the perfect analog for space exploration. Astronauts train in underwater habitats to prepare for missions to Mars. The technology we develop for ocean exploration, autonomous vehicles, pressure-resistant materials, long-range communication systems, directly benefits space exploration. Fiber optic cables that can transmit data from the deepest trenches. Sensors that can detect chemical signatures of life from miles away. But technology alone isn't enough. We need a global commitment to ocean exploration and conservation. We need to fund ocean research at the same level we fund space research. We need to treat the ocean as the frontier it truly is. The next generation of ocean explorers is already being trained. Marine biologists, engineers, and technologists who will push the boundaries of what's possible. They'll be the ones to finally map the ocean floor, catalog its species, and unlock its secrets. The ocean is waiting. The question is, are we ready to answer its call? We began this journey asking why the ocean remains a bigger mystery than space. Now you know the answer. What do you think? Should we be spending more on ocean exploration than space exploration? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing mysteries from the depths of our own planet.